Here are five common mistakes that people make when arriving to the Cancun airport that you could easily avoid. Number one is not being prepared for immigration lines. Cancun airport has done so many upgrades to really try to get those tourists in and out of the airport as soon as possible. They have completely eliminated all paper forms that you have to fill out and they just recently installed e-gates. However, long lines can still happen in immigrations. So just mentally prepare yourself that there might be lines because you will not know until you get there, especially if you're traveling with young children when you arrive, use the restroom, have their devices prepared to entertain them, and snacks ready. I do several very detailed videos about the Cancun airport, so make sure you check those out. I will put them in the description below because it goes into more detail about the e-gate lines versus the staff lines and just more of what to expect overall when you do arrive and depart from the Cancun airport. Real quick, if you are new to our channel, Three Days and Tres Noches, we bring you honest resort reviews, travel tips, and information like this video about the destinations that we go to. So please consider subscribing to our channel. We would appreciate the support so much. Second most common mistake is that people check in a bag when in fact they really could have just fit everything they needed for their vacation in a carry-on. And I'm not talking a three days Trace Noches vacation, I'm talking even a seven night vacation. I know for a fact people are able to put everything they need into a carry-on. There are so many reasons to try to just bring a carry-on. The first one is with all the flight cancellations and delays, Checking in a bag can become a nightmare. Your flight was canceled, sometimes it can take hours. I've seen even days to get your luggage back. If you have a delay and a connecting flight, sometimes you make it to the destination and your luggage doesn't make it until the next day. And then all the stories about things getting lost or stolen. But then once you arrive, you have to go wait for your luggage at the carousel and that can add an extra hour onto your trip alone. And yes, there's always circumstances where people have to check in a bag because of the things that they need to bring. But I encourage you to at least think about it. Yes, even if you're going for seven or 10 days, because it's going to save you so much time and frustration. And I do several packing videos to give you tips and tricks on how to do it, and I will link those in the description below. The third mistake that people make at the Cancun airport is buying too much at duty free. There are restrictions to how much alcohol and tobacco that you can bring in from your country to Cancun. That is 200 grams of tobacco and three liters of alcohol. So that equals to about 200 cigarettes or 50 cigars or three bottles of wine. So some people will pack alcohol into their checked in bag and then also purchase items from duty free and go over the limits. And then what happens when you get to customs, you have to pay a pretty hefty tax on those items. So a quick note here, if you are a smoker or someone who does enjoy an occasional cigar on vacation, Cancun has enacted a smoking ban from all public places, which includes the beach. And I know there are some people out there who do enjoy an occasional cigar on the beach and it will impact their vacation. So I would suggest to call the resort, ask them what their rules are. Lots of times they're going to have designated spaces, but as far as I've heard, they're not allowing any smoking on the beaches at all. Now the fourth mistake that people make at the Cancun airport, this one's a big one, is as they are leaving, they stop in the area commonly referred to as the shark tank and talk to salespeople. As you're leaving the Cancun airport, you are going to be approached by a lot of different people trying to sell you timeshares, offering you discounts and free items to attend presentations or excursions. And I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Some people may argue that they got great deals doing this but it just adds a lot of time and you can be taken advantage of pretty easily. So I would just suggest put your head down, just say no gracias, no gracias, and just keep walking. And number five is actually the biggest mistake that you can make at the Cancun airport. And that is not setting up transportation from the airport to the resort before arriving. And this is where a lot of the scams can happen. It actually happened to me the first time that I went to Cancun. I figured like it was any other airport when I got outside, I could just grab a taxi, which you can. And there's also other transportation companies out there trying to get your business. They're all kind of yelling at you and they can sense that it's probably your first time there. So what happened to us was when we did pick the taxi person and told them where we were going, they gave us a price and we agreed. And as soon as we got there, the price tripled and he gave us a lot of different reasons why. We even speak Spanish. 
And so we were trying to kind of argue and negotiate back and forth. It got a little scary. Basically, he was not going to let us out of the car until we paid him triple the price. And we've heard many similar stories, even with people who have been there many times. So now we always arrange transportation ahead of time. And if you follow my channel, you know we only use nacho tours when we are in Cancun. It's private transportation, so I don't have to worry about waiting for anyone else to share transportation with. I know that I'm with a driver who knows the crazy roads of Mexico and I'm going to get to my destination safely. And yes, there are other transportation options like the ADO bus or renting a car, but for me, safety is the top priority whenever I'm traveling, especially when I'm traveling in Mexico. So I always opt for the private transportation that has good reviews and a good reputation like Nacho. So make sure you check out the description section because I'm going to put a lot of information there, including Nacho's information, the links to the other Cancun airport videos, places to take excursions when you're visiting Cancun or Amazon storefront. And now you can even book vacations with us. So I put that link in there as well. And I do respond to all comments and questions. So if you have any additional tips or questions about the Cancun airport, please drop those in the comments below and keep following us at Three Days and Tres Noches, where we keep bringing those honest reviews, travel tips, and information about the destinations that we go to. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook.